center and periphery. Colonialism could only exist by postulating a binary opposition into which the world was divided. The establishment of an empire depended upon a stable hierarchical relationship in which the colonized existed as the other of the colonizing culture. Imperial Europe became defined as the center in a geography and everything that lay outside that center was by definition at the margin or the periphery of culture, power and civilization. The colonial mission to bring the margin into the sphere of influence of enlightened center became the principal justification for the economic and political exploitation of colonialism, especially after the middle of 19th century. Enlightenment, progress, modernity and culture were the characteristic and prerogative of those who resided at the center. Primitivism, savagery and pre-modern lives marked the beings or creatures who occupied the margins. These margins and peripheral regions were also places of conquest, desire and adventure as the Europeans sought to explore new sea routes, islands and continents. The center margin model fixed the races and cultures in unchanging, constant essentialisms. This mode of reading the colonial discourse, exemplified by Edward Syed's Orientalism, tended to see imperial relations built on a manichaean allegory.